Hello everyone, and welcome to my Coronation Street official. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Spoilers for Coronation Street, does Cassie have a crush on Steve McDonald? Amy is persuaded there is a recreation area between Steve McDonald and Cassie in this evening's episode of Crowning Ceremony Road at 8 o'clock p.m. For complete listings, check out our TV guide. At the point when Cassie shows up for work at number one, Steve McDonald savors illuminating her that her most memorable undertaking is to cut Ken's toenails. Ken suggests they go out for lunch after enjoying Cassie's company. Amy is amused by how Cassie gets under her dad's skin. Afterward, Amy recommends to Steve that there's a flash among him and Cassie and he's willfully ignorant about his fascination with her. She conceals her amusement as Steve insistently denies it. At the point when Abby gets some information about him getting up in the night he puts it down to pressure however later calls into the salon with a taken cell phone and inquires as to whether he can hack into it. Kev assures Tyrone that the video of Kevin breaking into Stefan's office is yet another deeply fake video when he opens an email to find it. Bethany learns that Kevin stole Max's phone when she sees him with it and tells him not to involve her family in the situation. At the point when Kevin turns up at Stefan's office, he says his video film of Kevin breaking and entering could land him in prison. Meanwhile, Tyrone tells Craig that Kevin has been the victim of a deeply fake video, shocking Abby. Kevin returns to number 13 later to find Craig and Abby waiting. Will he report Stefan? D illuminates Gemma that her landowner could be fined for neglecting to complete fundamental fixes to number 5's evaporator assuming she revealed him. Will her recommendation work? Chesney is gutted to learn that Joseph has claimed to run a successful catering empire as he is dropped off at his home by Ollie's posh mother. Joel trusts in Dee his misery at keeping their commitment from his folks. Lanter, he spots Sabrina in a condition of trouble outside the police headquarters and discovers that her sibling has been captured. Joel tells her to call him and gives her his business card. As Sabrina's companion joins her, Joel heads inside, satisfied to have tracked down another objective. A cop visits Toya to illuminate her she will emerge and scathe for covering her child. Spoilers, Gemma Winter finds herself in a lot of trouble. In order to provide Saris with new shoes, desperate Gemma Winter shoplifts in tonight's Coronation Street episode at 8 p.m. For complete listings, check out our TV guide. Gemma Winter's day gets worse when she finds that Saris desperately needs new shoes and that she receives a 70-pound parking ticket in the mail. She takes Saris to the shoe shop to have her feet measured, but she can't afford the shoes. Gemma takes Karis by the hand while the assistant is distracted, and they leave the store without paying. Bernie inquires about Gemma's financial situation after seeing the shoes. Will she tell the truth? Gemma is taken aback when she observes one of the fathers who has arrived to pick up his son while Chesney is preparing kebabs for Joseph's delighted schoolmates who are present for dinner. Tyrone learns from Kevin that Stefan has agreed to pay to delete the deeply fabricated videos. But Stefan tells him that the deal is over because he won't pay £60,000 a year to remove the videos. What will Kevin do? Ed, Dee Dee, and Gus get lunch at the bistro with Anthea and Ed, Dee Dee is pleased when Anthea apologizes for their previous behavior. Anthea and Gus are surprised when Amy reveals that Joel and Dee Dee are engaged. Tim comes down on Steve to consent to a night out to commend his 50th. However, he's destroyed when Sally shows him a solicitation to the divulging of Tommy O's bronze bust at the district ground and he understands it conflicts with Steve's enormous due. Steve assumes that a surprise party is being planned when Tim informs him that he is unable to join Steve on the night out. When her partner tells Sabrina that Joel is a creep and she should stay away, she realizes she was naive. George suggests that Glenda and Michael put the hatchet down and get together for a drink later when he discovers them in the cafe. Will Glenda concur? Spoilers for Coronation Street, Nick Tilsley dumps Leanne, who was brainwashed. Scratch Tilsley has a final proposal for Leanne in this evening's episode of Crowning Ordnance Road at 8 o'clock p.m. See our television guide for full postings. Toya tells Nick Tilsley that Rowan must have reported her to the police when she receives a bouquet of yellow roses delivered to the Bisto, explaining the significance of the flowers. Leanne is confronted with the roses and the card by a furious Toya. Leanne concedes she told Rowan. How might Toya respond? 
Later, Nick comes back home and tells Leanne that Rowan and the Institute are finished unless she ends all ties with them. How will she respond? Subsequent to going through the night together, Glenda ushers Michael out of the secondary passage of the bar. Dee tells Georgia go between would set aside them both cash and when Mary rehashes the counsel to Glenda, Debbie offers to make it happen. Bobby apologizes to Ken for getting Daniel into trouble at Stu's birthday drinks before noticing that Ken is unable to stand on his own. Ken heads home because he is unwell. Bobby is worried and knocks on his door. When he doesn't get a response, he looks through the letterbox and is shocked to see Ken lying at the bottom of the stairs. Bobby, in shock, calls an ambulance. Glenda, on the other hand, comes across Michael in the ginnel and gives him a kiss before taking him by the hand and leading him into the rovers. Lisa calls Carla at the factory to inquire about setting up a time for her daughter's work experience. In the meantime, Paul and Billy go to a meeting with the M&D nurture who lets them know that as his debilitated neck muscles deteriorate he will not have the option to utilize his step lift. Obby won't call it quits and advises Kevin that they need to find a PC whiz who can follow the Savage's genuine IP address. Is Max able to assist? Spoilers for Coronation Street, Ken Barlow receives life-altering news. In the episode of Coronation Street that airs tonight at 8 p.m., Ken Barlow finds out bad news at the hospital. For complete listings, check out our TV guide. Steve declines Cassie's request for a switch job at Streetcars, stating that her reputation precedes her. Afterward, Daniel and Steve visit Ken Barlow in emergency clinic and Ken is overwhelmed to find he will require non-stop consideration while he recuperates. Steve guarantees him that the family will arrange and ensure he gets the consideration he wants to protect him in his own home. A guilty Nick questions Leanne about Rowan when she returns, but she assures him that she would never cheat on him. Afterward, Rowan calls at the bistro on his motorbike and giving an extra protective cap to Leanne, tells her he has an unexpected treat for her. She follows him out, leaving Nick and Toya alone to deal with the rush at lunchtime. Nick is furious. Rowan uses a video call to introduce Leanne to Willow, the Institute's CEO, at a hotel restaurant. He then, at that point, tells a complimented Leanne she can before long enroll new individuals herself. Toya gets a call that shocks her as she heads to her Institute court case. Toya rushes into a &E with a pale face and informs the nurse at the desk that she received a call informing her that her sister Leanne had been in a motorcycle accident. Later, the police tell Toya, who is in shock, that they can now release her baby for burial. At the Blossom shop level, the eye gaze expert shows Paul how to utilize his new hardware. Summer, on the other hand, returns from America to reveal that she has a new boyfriend named Felix, who is waiting for them to meet in the rovers. Billy and Paul are going to leave the level when Paul tumbles down the steps. Todd appears as Paul recovers, and Summer and Felix arrive. How might the gathering go? At the point when Glenda uncovers that Rest Easy are quick to purchase Shuttleworths, George is immobile. George is rowing with Glenda when Michael calls the rovers, so he steps in and tells them that he and Glenda are now an item and that he should treat her with more respect. Glenda parks next to Michael, who is nervous, and gives him a kiss to reassure him that she feels the same way. Abby and Kevin are overjoyed to learn in the Gazette that Corey's prison football team documentary has been cancelled. Having accepted a call from Max, Kevin tells Abby that there's absolutely not a chance of following the individual transferring the recordings. Abby declares to him that she no longer cares.